Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. We're going to take a little drive through Garner State Park. I've moved again, and I'm at site 424, I think. Actually, it's 425, and uh, it's just a much better location. But some of the uh, some of the areas are closed, uh, like uh, one of the loops is closed. I'll show you. But this is. This loop that I'm in now, I'll see if I can find the name of it, is called Rio Frio Camping Area and it has 30 and 50 amp connections and always whenever you're camping, be sure that you know which of those you need and if it's available at the campsite you're going to be going to. Because they have some sites in, in this park that are just uh, 30 amp and then they have some that are 30 and 50 amp and you pay a premium for that. The ones that have 30 and 50 or that have 50 amp available are four dollars extra a night and then uh, the uh, area where the pavilion is called is you know the pavilion and the swimming and all the stuff the park store laundry and all that uh, that's called the pecan grove camping area and it's six dollars more per night to be in that area there so just keep that in mind, but they've got a lot of campsites, as you can see. This, this is just one section or one, quote, loop. And they've got showers and restrooms and all kinds of stuff. Coke machine if you need it. But it's huge, huge, huge. You can go to the right here, you'll see more campsites. Most of the, in fact, all of the campsites are back ends, except for a few, about 10 or so at the... Uh, what's the name of it? Shady Meadows camping area that are full hookups, water septic electric, and those are pull-throughs. They've got about 10 of those pull-throughs there. So for those of you that just have to have a pull-through, that's where you'll get it. It's there. The beautiful day today. Right now it's about 62 degrees. Winds about 14 miles an hour are out of the north, direct due north. It's supposed to be in the middle 30s in the morning and then the next morning it's going to be about 25. So it's going to be a little airish during the day and high the next day is going to be around 50. Why am I telling you all this? Well, because I'm probably not going to be doing triking videos. There is a loop to the right here if you go right, uh, but it's closed. The whole, the whole loop, let me see if I can find the name of it. Uh, we're working on the water system there. Uh, which one is it? I think that's called Live Oak Camping Area and it's uh, it's closed now because they're working on the water. They're drilling a water well that they work on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And enough said about that because I was camped next to the drilling operation last night and that's why I moved because not only is it a little bit noisy but they turn on lights because they're working 24 hours and I mean they have floodlights from hell. And having said that, we're going to zip on along here and hopefully my camera doesn't get too hot up there in the direct sunlight. Let's see if I can shade it a little bit here. I'll just hold this up there while we're going here and that'll help. Because yeah, it's, the, the phone holder is right in the direct sunlight on the dash and this sun today, uh, even though it's cool outside, uh, the sun is brutal coming through that windshield down on the dash. A turn if you turn to the right here you go to the you go out of the park you go right by the the uh, sign in place or the park headquarters and again I want to tell you that these people are very friendly I mean they've treated me fair because I've moved twice and there's not been any questions asked just do it yeah in fact the uh, park uh, superintendent said the last time I moved, before, before I moved, he said, it, I, I, I said something and he said, well, whatever it takes to keep you happy. <laughs> that's my kind of, that's my kind of leadership. But this is the park road that goes down to the pavilion camping area and also uh, the one called, uh, let's see, there's one called Frio. Well, that's where I was. I'm at Frio. This, this road goes to uh, let me see if I can find here. Shady Meadows camping area and the Pavilion gift shop area and also that's also called Pecan Grove and that's kind of the main area in the whole park 
I mean, that's where people want to be. That's where the kids want to be and hang out. And they've got a few dump stations. They don't just have one dump station. They have, I think I've seen three dump stations. So, you know, you don't have to worry about finding a dump station. But we're going to go right on back down into the pavilion area. On the left here uh, is uh, the shelters, the screened-in shelters. And that's in, let me see I mean, if, the, if it gives me the name of the area. I mean, of course, you can find all this on the Internet. It's not like I'm giving you secret information. But you can see that store. And if you're new to Garner State Park and you come up to a sign like that uh, and you're pulling a 40-foot RV, uh, you don't want to guess wrong, okay? And, and <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's... It, it, there's roads everywhere. But it's pretty here. I, I, I enjoy this place. I even went in, when I went into Lakey today, the little town, it's spelled L-E-A-K-E-Y. It should be pronounced Leakey, but it's not. It's pronounced Lakey. It's a little bitty town. I want probably 1,500 people, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, it's, you know, it's, got some, it's got a grocery store and a dollar store and stuff and a liquor store and a place to get beer and all that stuff. It's also got a good place to get gas there. I bought gas there today, believe it or not, 209 a gallon, which is amazing. I did a video of Lakey and I'll post it later or sometime. I, I got this thing in the camera, don't I? I didn't realize that. I got my, my shade in the camera. Didn't intend to do that. But it's pretty here, right on the Frio River, guys, I'm telling you. It is just beautiful, and that sky today is just perfect. That's why I decided to go ahead and do this driving video through the park today, because it is just awesome. Now, whenever you're in this park, just don't don't get in a hurry, particularly you guys that are coming here in the summer, because I mean, there's kids everywhere and they're not looking at for anything. Uh, they'll walk right out in front of you and uh, think nothing of it. There's the Madrone walkway. You can't use bikes on that one though. Pretty drive in. It's about nine miles to Lakey, Texas, where most of the shopping's gonna take place for you. There are some shopping places just that are closer, but I can assure you they're not gonna be inexpensive. Gasoline at one was two fifty four a gallon, but it's right outside the park entrance. But actually it's right out of uh, Farm to Market Road ten fifty. Do not enter one way, you'll run into that a lot here. straighten the camera up might be better for you Garner State Park there's the uh, they call it the what is it well they got a laundry there and a park store uh, there's not a whole lot in that park store and it's not too pricey but it's not exactly cheap this is a one way going the way we're going off to the right are some shelters screened in shelters and there's picnic tables all out in here, all out, in, and that's also tent sites. And believe it or not, in the summertime where you see those little picnic tables everywhere, there, there will be a tent. They'll be side by side. Uh, <laughs> you know, but people enjoy that, particularly the kids, the young kid, you know, young group say anywhere from 12 to 20. Uh, yeah, they eat that up, they eat it up. I got a little rattle there. There's the old Baldy Trailhead, if you need to know where that is. But I wanted to do a drive through so you could see the park on a pretty day, you know, when it's bright and it makes a good video. There's some tents there on the right. But these are, these are $6 a day more 
just because of the location. That's it. I don't know what they get for tent sites, but it, it wouldn't surprise me if it was $20 a night for a tent at all. Here we go around and you'll be able to see the Frio, that white straight ahead, that is the Frio River. Limestone bottom, white of course. Water crystal clear and cold. Spring fed most of the year. Every now and then they get some thunder storms around and the river will go from pretty low to flood stage and back to pretty low in a few hours. I'll turn it off to the right here and you'll be able to see the Frio River there a little bit better. They do rent uh, every kind of paddle boat and stuff you can use. They've got, let's see, do they have kayaks? Let's see, they show they've got uh, paddle boats, kayaks, stand-up paddle boats, drink snacks, blah blah blah. But all of these places where there's a picnic table, I believe there's a tent site by, by every one of them. Big trees, big, big, big trees. I think there's cypress along the riverbank and then a lot of live oak out here in the other section where it's just really pretty. I thought about moving down here. They had a site available, but I didn't want to pay six bucks extra a day just to be down here. I didn't really see any reason for that. Other than you got a beautiful view of the river. You could walk down to the river and check it out. This is a huge park, state park. And can you get lost here and turn around? Yep, you sure can. There's campsites 26 through 66 to my left in case somebody's got a site there. I'm not sure where this goes here. There's some people out in kayaks right over there on the right. If you're out of the wind, it, it doesn't feel bad at all. But if you're in the wind, it's pretty cool. It's chilly, called chilly. Garner State Park on February the 25th, 2019 at what time? Almost 3 p.m. exactly. And the temperature is 62. For this time of the year, I'd have to say that's pretty good. So boy, I got him a good one here. So here's a good site right here. You'd be close to the river and, and you'd have a little privacy. I'll give you the number of it. It's a site number 39. So get site 39 if you're down here. There's some people doing a little outdoor cooking. And that's another thing. Whenever you're down here, whenever it's really crowded, everybody's using charcoal and campfires. And if you have any breathing difficulties, good luck. If you go right here, it goes to the pavilion. I'll drive down that way because it's shaded and I'll get my camera out of the sunlight for a minute. This is the, when I did the triking video and showed you the jukebox and the pavilion. Uh, I just came in a little different way. But that's it right there. That's the main hangout in the summertime, particularly in the afternoons and evenings when they start to dance. 
people get going crazy down here and then oh, of course they also have the miniature golf course I got to turn around because you can't get out going that way it is a nice park though they keep it clean I don't know how many camp hosts they have. I would have probably, I don't know, several. Here's one here that wouldn't be too bad, but it's going to be busy in the summer. Got a big shade tree, number 44, and number 43. If you really wanted to be in the shade, get number 45. And let's see, under the big trees here, number 48. Uh, another one under the trees is number 50. Got restrooms and showers, very convenient to all those sites I just mentioned. What a way to live, folks. Driving around RV parks, or excuse me, state parks. Yeah, these, these sites right in here where I'm at now, on the right-hand side, those all have water and electric, and I'm, whether they have 30 and 50 amp, I couldn't say, for sure 30. And then on the left are some screened-in shelters. You can go on uh, YouTube and see some pictures of Garner State Park in the summer. Look at some that are dated June, July, August uh, and, and, and see what you see. You'll be very impressed, particularly if they're within three years old when they opened up all, these, all the new sections and stuff. They, they've been open for several years, but the later the video, the more current the information will be. Number 65 is not a bad site. right by the river and got a big shade tree. So now you have seen Garner State Park from a trike, a truck, and I haven't walked it yet, but I might. Do not enter there, that's another thing. It'll take you a little while to get used to driving in this park. This is Park Road 29. That is, this park, Park Road 29 will take you all the way to the exit. let it go a minute or two more guys and I'll shut it down but again Garner State Park for those of you that live in Texas and that are traveling anywhere I guess can come through here and enjoy it but you better make reservations if you're coming anytime in warm weather starting probably I'd say April through Labor Day this place is very crowded at least that's what they've told me and they rent everything you need. They rent fish and tackle, they rent uh, tubes if you wanna go floating around the river, they got firewood, uh, starter for your firewood. They got everything you need. I was just in that store yesterday and uh, whatever you want, they got it. Well, for camping, pretty much. Let's see what it says. Camping supplies, water shoes, bait, s'mores, ice cream, firewood, grilling meats, ATM, laundry mat, barbecue pits, tubes, fishing poles, horseshoes, washer sets, fans, and tables. How about that for a menu? But anyway, guys, from Garner State Park, this is Rusty78609 saying 
Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Bye anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. That products doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Take deep breaths. Exercise your body. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do all those simple things that are free uh, to keep yourself healthy so you can get outdoors and enjoy stuff like this because otherwise you may not enjoy it at all. Adios amigos uh, and onward and upward. Adios. Enjoy your day. At ease. Carry on. Bye bye.